First match of the back for Brawl 89, we have Kanada on the Sin versus Yoho Spill on the Testament. Two players that we've seen here before, but uh, players that we don't see often and characters we don't see often either. I'm, of course, joined by the one and only Patriarch Panda. We're going to get right into this right now. Yoho Spill going to use up that burst. Throws out the projectile, teleports out. Really good way to get out of the corner. Fantastic anti-air. Good pickup with the curse and super to boot. Yeah, and they're going to get some decent damage here. Going to get that wall and set up the curse. So overall, a really good situation for Yoho. As they clip them with the Arbor saying get the finish with the 6H. And that says, oh, did I fail the Macharino? Oh, I know, mad. I just read the chat. It's so sad. Pandas failed this again. God damn. Nice block. String there gets in. What's that move called again, Panda? Uh, the low? The, uh, the, the skulls? Or, or the, the, the Elkhun. The... Oh, Elkhun. <laughs> aye, aye. What you <laughs> Got him. We just started. We got him we on the Elkhun. We just started. Oh my God. Nice hit with the Elkhun there. Dash in with a close slash. Counter hit on the 6K. Big conversion. Not going to be enough to kill, but certainly we'll get that hard knockdown with the Wild Assault. Has a bar here. Big pickup. Drops the combo. 5D. Fantastic defense here from Yoho Spill. Tries to challenge out with the 5P, but it trades. And that's enough for Kanada. All right. Overall, we are getting some decent back and forth. Catches him with a 2S Wild Assault. Able to take it to the wall. Surely doesn't get the wall spot. I'm honestly shocked. I thought if I confirm that, you would. But doesn't matter, so. eventually gets a reset, and they have a bar for the Oki here. The Sets mix! The oh, that's <laughs> Big nasty. overhead into the super. That's going to be a lot of damage, and once again, as we said earlier, it will reset up that curse, and it's barely not going to kill, but this is a guess for your life yes. situation, and it's a low. Yoho Spill will take game one. On to game two, round start dash up 6 speed. Can't go wrong as Testament with a dash up 6 speed. Fantastic option, does it again, finds the hit. Trap in the corner is Kanada. Gets under with the elk hunt, dash him with a throw, hard knockdown, 5p whiff as a frame kill, and yo, Spill finds a way out. Yeah, good burst there, get out of the corner. Sets up the, um, oh, what's that called again? Peak driver, keep the pressure going. Tries to <laughs> reset into a close slash, but gonna challenge out the 2k, you hold back into oh. it with a fake teleports. That's kind of cheeky. Yeah, that is a little cheeky. Definitely not the strongest of mix of options, but sometimes just things being a little not, you know, clear is a very strong option. Right. Oh, you cannot underestimate feet. like personal mix-ups because it's gonna be, most of the times the first time someone has ever seen something like that and they're not going to be expecting it. That's the oh. strength of like having your own, you know, core offense. Does it again. This time to set up a safe jump. Very interesting there. Some solid damage. Again, we do have the car state. That is the main important thing oh, I would wow. say for a... Uh, oh, no. Fantastic use there. Able to low crush. Trap task me into the corner, pick it up with the RC, and break the wall. All right, good damage, definitely. Going to be able to rush some offense here. Does have a bit of stamina, but going to get challenged out by a mash 2k. Very well placed by Yoho. As the friend with the wild so get him with the top 5D. Get the kill with the super. Yoho up 2-0. Oh. All right. Up and straight to the third match. We're going to get a massive 2H uh, counter out there. Going to have to get rid of the burst on Canada's side to stay alive. Use the Wild Assault to get confirmed here, and they have the corner. Connor trapped in the corner. Wild Assault to stay in, tries to go for the 2P, 6P string, but Gap is found with the DP. Connor cop the 2K, 2D. Oh. Does it again, into the overhead, fast cancel for the lockdown, and Connor being very patient right now, just dash blocking, trying to find a way out of the corner, a perfect time to IAD out, and confirm to the super. I have some solid damage coming up. Oh my god, and able to break them through the wall. That's the great thing about Sin Super is you're always getting the wall, and if you can, major amounts of damage. Ooh, Big throw. empty land into the throw. Into the overhead. Empty all oh, through the nice. PRC in Canada, able to take the round. Yeah, I think their PRC was tamed uh, as a YRC, but because Canada didn't threaten anything, you know, you get PRC instead. So definitely a good play to just play empty into that. Definitely scary option though, you know, because a lot of people are going to backdash or jump there. Uh, Can be spooky. And you were a little uh, slowed down, I believe, too. So oh, much damage. damage for Yo spill here. Overhead into the plus frames, low catches the backdash. And if I recall correctly, pretty sure Sin is one of the weaker backdashes. Oh, I. Uh, the slowest in the game. They fix the iframes on it, so it sucks like the rest of the big bodies, but it's still really slow. I think it's at like 27 frames or something. Oh, able to recover in time, go for the 6 p Dashing, Kanada, overhead, oh. RC. 
Should get a confirm here. Decision he made. Do you want to break the wall? Doesn't break the wall this time to reset the pressure. Burst is built. Goes for the gold burst. Comes out just in time. And now with this positive bonus, Yoho Spill has an opportunity to take this set 3-0. Big hit uh, into the teleport, 5D, nice, so and it picks nasty. it up from the curse, overhead does it again, 6H from downtown into the super, and Yoho Spell is just putting on a master class. Aye. And this is a guess the scenario for Canada, they have to go with the 50-50, oh, 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 oh. takes them out with the 5D for the 2k finish, Yoho takes the set off with some disgusting mix. All right. Hopping into the second match of winner's side top eight, we got Scambolini on the left, on the Kai, and Dan Fango, a first time here on the bed, man. And so far, we're just seeing some 2K2D gaming. Offers some massive damage here, but no wall break. Uh, something I noticed from the bracket, by the way, Dan Fango had uh, quite the run to get here in the winner's side top eight. They actually beat Crispy Cthulhu, previous backer ball champion, to make it here to this winner's side match. Ooh. Okay. Oh, you mean he swapped the names of it? I, I just did. <laughs> nice. Oh, the 6P oh, hits on the opposite speed. side. Jesus. Fantastic DP there. Into the fantastic uh, deflect. I mean, just great defensive options all around so far. Low HP is Scambolini. Has to block it. Far Slash will frame trap. And Dan Fingo will take the round one. I, their, um, their bad man's looking pretty clean. I like the way they've been playing neutral and just kind of like running very safe offense so far. Ooh, two pin nice. to confirm. Yeah, very That's a, good a really risky there. option, by the way, because that is minus on block. So you're really hoping that two be hits. Yeah, I'm surprised they were able to confirm that second like jab. Like they, they no, must have just went straight yeah, into you just have yeah, to, yeah, they you must have, have gamble. went straight into. Usually an option that you'd see if the bed man is meter, obviously for high reward as well as being safe if it is blocked. But uh, sometimes mm. just committing to it on a fantastic read will get you there. And right now it's paying off, two picking a whiff there, but challenge is out. DP again used by Scambolini, doing a great job right now. Uh, putting those into the defensive structure. 2P, or 2K will find the hit, but no follow-up. 6P anti-air, back to the corner you go, into the pickup, and Dan Fango will take game one. Hopping into the second match, Scambolini has been having a bit of a rough time with the bad man here. And it seems like it might continue into this round. Ooh. Big 2S counter hat. Able to get a decent pick up. This will set up for the error follow up. Second you know if the that's uh, safe, by the way? Going for that follow up is immediate. Um, like in that one? knockdown. It, it kind of looked like that might have been DPable, but also I know that these follow ups tend to recover quickly. So uh, generally they can be DP safe, but that was very close. So uh, I, yeah, I was a little the, worried there. Yeah, the thing about the follow ups is that they all have the same start up time and the same, like, all that all that good stuff mm -hmm. if you manually yep. do it um and i'm pretty sure if that projectile comes out it's a trade if the opponent presses i could be wrong though but okay. i'm pretty sure it's a trade deflect into the stun number big pickup a projectile nice oh all the way to the corner maximum corner carry and if that needed to more damage it certainly would have gotten there scambolini with the big confirm to take the round I clean stuff here. Rushes in with the wild assault. Very, very uh, dire play. Does can, work can though. Can we get real here? I know Gold yeah. has been getting some hate for wild assault. I'm not seeing the hate for Nago and Deadman, okay? On wild well, assault here's the wild. thing. Here's the thing. Everyone's complaining about everything else about Nago, right? <laughs> That's Man true. Way. Wild assault doesn't even make the list of things to complain about for Nago. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. No, I'm oh. kidding. Big <gasps> super hit the PRC. Very nice there. So it's going to be a lot of damage, but not enough to kill Scambling. He's still alive in the round. Dash blocking through. Avoid the projectiles. A fantastic use of the stun dipper. The spacing was so perfect. Has the confirm ready. Not going to be enough to kill, but Dragon Stop. install. Will it be enough to close out? Does Dragon install give you a hard knockdown? It does. Dash with the 5P into the oh. throw, but the back dash 2P punish means that Dan Fango is still alive in game two. And activate Dragon install to do a jab weapon to throw. <laughs> that is true. I feel like you probably just like Fuji Arc there, no? Dan oh, yeah, doesn't definitely. have any reversal options. Fuji Arc is guaranteed plus unblock. And obviously yeah. will kill if it hits, so. Overall, yeah. I mean, sometimes like... uh, going for like the less. Like, it's kind of obvious to go for something like that. So, like, going directly into like the layer two or three option against good players does make sense. Aye. Uh, there's another thing to talk about, oh, but like, oh no! The drop! Oh, reverse 6P! Wait, this round's not over yet. Challenge out with the 2P. 
but Never jumps mind. into the projectile and Scamblini will tie it up one to one. On to game three, round start, 6p into the projectile. Bedman already starting the offense, able to avoid the DP, but no punish there. Going to be slightly out of range, going to be a bit too slow and stubby as well. Challenge out with the 2p. Hard knockdown. That was a confirm with the double 2p into it. Mm. You know, I'm actually just completely not used to big bodies having like being able to stagger jabs like that because Goldos only is the one. So I just assume it's yeah. the same rules for all of them, but it is not. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, being able to confirm off 2p, definitely a, a really strong thing to have. Yeah, I've, when it comes to Gold Lewis, though, he's he's more of like 2 piece XA4 no matter what, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Which, Gold Lewis know, has his could... own strength for sure. Obviously, hard knockdown. And we don't we don't need to bring everything back to Gold Lewis. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I do yeah, this. Yeah. this is my thing. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, it was you. It was you. <laughs> but was yeah, a lot fault. of the other big bodies can, can do jab pressure. Um, Like, for example, Nagel does 5k, 5k, right? That's something that he does. Not jab, but it essentially works the same way. I think Nagel uses with jab bed. better than like almost any other big body. I don't know, punch jab being uh, hitting crouchers now is kind of gross. Plus one. Big Ooh. super. Oh. Finds the hit. Low HP is Scambolini. Goes for the wild assault. Big jump. And that's going to be commitment of burst meter. Fandango. <laughs> Dan Fango. Not going to have that moving I mean? further at least. Oh my god. Oh, Just 2P Tigers out. Big challenge. And the 2S will connect. Dan Fango takes the round. Aye. I think he wanted to play dead safe there, but didn't work out for him. Oh, what a rush. Again, and Ooh. oh, the trade on that. No star up for you, big man. Really great button to press in that situation. Jumps in with a JD. That's an anti fuzzy option. Plus frames. Nice. Engage the 2H. Follow up. All going to be safe. Throws it a projectile. And so far, Scambling not falling for any of it, but does run directly into a 5H counter hit. Plus frames. Watch out for the DP and the deflect. PRC. Cop of the low. RC for the side switch. Oh, no. Just going to go for the corner carry. All right. Was that an American yeah. reset? What are we thinking? Oh my god. I, that may have been an American reset. <laughs> a funny bot in the chat, though. Oh, nice. Friends White Wild Assault tries again with the throw, but what a jump out. No drop out of range because the. No, 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 no. It was out of range okay, because the ID part. back, but finds the hit, and that's enough. Scambolini will go up two to one. On to game four. Goes to the JD, into the JH. Flies in with the plus frames. Caught the DP. No oh, bursts out. Tries to set up some of the pen pressure. Jumps in with the two P confirm, and able to set up the uh, the S what a chase in the back dash of the follow. Oh no! Goes for the head bump. Two K two D. Big <laughs> damage with the guard crush there. And they are sitting on a bar, so they need to be careful. Oh, caught! Are you gonna get the burst? I think you just hold it. I think you just hold it. Yeah. That round Very is delayed. lost. Too little, too late. Scambolini though, obviously does have that game advantage as well as a burst advantage going to round two. Goes to DP, caught. Tries to keep him at bait, rushes in, but really gonna get jumps. caught. I right, very good job. Scambolini doing Just a very good job it. at utilizing movement to avoid a lot of these special moves from Batman. Yeah. Oh, good blocks. Just a projectile, like, war right now. <laughs> Go so back and the, forth. The word them. I prefer to use is Fiesta. Fiesta? Fiesta, yeah. No, you just made that up. You don't use that word. I use yeah, Of course I do. It's a projectile nah. fiesta. Nah. Uh, nah. Projectile war. See, I, sometimes right? I, I just take terms from my Hispanic heritage and then implement it into my casting. You just wouldn't understand <laughs> it. My bad. My bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't understand in it. Oh my god. Frenzy S yes, follow up stays and does have a bar. Goes in with the head bomb and just decks in with a massive throw there. They're gonna have to guess on the Oki. Oh, what here. a setup there! Plus frames into the plus frames, goes oh. for the wild assault, but the super will definitely be enough. Yep, fast RC cancel <laughs> into the five feet. Just a, a little funny <laughs> conversion. And Scambolini's on set point. It's like he's staring at him, like, no, -uh, I'm fine. Nope. No, I'm not holding it. I'm good. Tick throw. Oh, that's a big throw. Jumps in. Couple of overheads into another tick throw. And this is very difficult to deal with, but when you go for those mind games, it's no longer a safe jump, and Scambolini recognized that. And that right oh, there the shows you how good players are at recognizing those kinds of situations. Because uh, a lot of players are going to see that and think, oh, how many overheads do I need to block here? Oh, are they going to go for this again or whatever? But Scambolini's like, no, actually, this entire string becomes fake because I'm a DP character. So that's a, a fantastic yeah. in the moment adaptation there. Big hit here it's... from Scam into the wall, into the wild assault. Hard knockdown guaranteed, and this could be it for Dan Fango. Meaty 5k, not expecting the low, and Scambolini will take the set 3 to 1.
First match of top eight loser side. It's going to be Festival on the Axel. Been a long time since we've had an Axel versus Domasaur oh, on the Soul, who we saw last week, a dominant Soul. Yeah, Domasaur is insanely good at Soul, right? He was able to push it to, I believe, like top four last time. Yeah. Uh, very clean player, very clean player. But of course, they're up against uh, Nine Moon's uh, Fiesta Fall, who I've never seen before. <laughs> Fiesta Fall. I got you with Fiesta, bro. It's in your head now. Fest, ah, oh, up. Anyway, <laughs> point being, I ain't never seen them before, right? I ain't never yeah, seen them before. So I'm like, I'm very curious to see their key strengths with Axel yeah, playing absolutely. into this matchup. Big bait Ooh. into the close slash, and Axel's got some damage now, so gonna be enough. I, I'm gonna love this. Might be the first time we've seen Axel since the patch. <laughs> no, no, we've seen Axel. I don't Come think on, we've man. seen Axel, bro. My memory's bad, but I don't think it's that bad, okay? It's pretty bad, not gonna lie. Someone in the back row comments will let me know, like, bro, last week we had an Axel. <laughs> Damn, someone knows your tournament more than you, that's uh, wild. It's possible, man. I've got, it might be something Ooh. wrong with my brain. <laughs> yeah, Dummy Sword just going for that run-up pressure. Going insane with the super, gonna dump the damage, and because it's a clean hit tyrant rave, maximum damage. Jumping Jump goes to the safe jump, but that's a super PRC in the back throw here from Festival. Got a bar here. Might try using use a DPRC. I can see it happening. Will Dummy Star go for it? No, Bro. they try to poke out and they're going to get caught That for is it. some high level nuke right now. Fantastic options. Goes to the 6P, but unable to get the full combo. Drops. Challenge out the 2P. Gold burst. Low HP is Festival. Outspaces Ooh. the 2K RC for the conversion directly into the bomber, and it is enough. Axel in Festival will take game one. All right. On to game two. Round start far slash up to recover in time. Go for the 6P. But Domasaur blocks them both. Challenge is out. Cross up. Cobb of the 5K. But once again, Festival able to block in time. Nice. Right. We'll catch him with 2H. Catches him with the Renton. Able to set up the fake cross up into the JH. And rushes in immediately for the offense. Going to clip them with the too. close slash. Yeah. Okay. Nasty this is staggers. some gaming, dude. This right here is Axel Gaming. Play Axel. Dude, they're and they're doing such a good job. They're not even zoning. Like, they're yeah. actually playing like Ram Lafal right now. I swear. This looks like uh, tuned up Ram. The way that they're doing pressure. Oh, yeah, not pressure. Mm -hmm. Neutral. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Didn't, hey, mean, to, the didn't mean to play the there thing, for right? a second. Here's the thing, right? You're playing Gelly Gear, right? So your zoners can do rush down right and that, that's what axel needs to do when he gets but you in the corner the thing, right can do rush down is different than doing the rush down oh you've seen the doing part right now and goes I'm seeing right now, and, it's fun. and that should kill and the rush yeah, down two. axel prevails again up two to zero going into what could possibly be the final match if he has to fall keeps this energy up and they've been clean with it and we finally got to see his new move whistling wins i think that's the first time i've seen that since the release of it BRC forward, cop oh. with the 5k. Dashing does Domasaur. Finds it with a throw. Jumps yeah, in, rush in. Goes for low. Great defense here from Festival. Very willing to just block, but finally cop with that 2p. And the conversion. 5d. Close slash, far slash, dp. So much damage, but it's not even going to break the wall. Fantastic usage of keeping your opponent into the corner from Domasaur, but there's a lot of resource here, and you got to deal with them. Able to block in time and tech the throw. Cop with the JS. Backs off, trying to leave gaps for Domasaur to dp, and oh. that round's over. Domasaur was dominating. Festival finds a way out and is able to secure the round. Uh, here's the thing. Domasaur is in a bit of a rough spot. They have to go up against uh, set point right now. And the Axel has the lead and the momentum. And that is so hard to stop against the zoner, right? They're able to deny your pace and you're not getting it started. Keeping the pressure going. Wants to keep poking them at bay. Catches him with the rainwater. Gets some solid damage. Now he's stuck in the corner against an Axel with bar. What's the game plan? What's the game plan, Dobby Sword? Do you have a game plan? Gets clipped by the 2K. The perfect hold this Mega Fist mix as Axel. Festival takes it 3 0. Axel just used meter for rushdown, bro. But this is the back, my bro. Fantastic win there from Festival. Wow. Final match of top six loser side. We have a. Uh, a fantastic match for you, truly. I mean, we have Scissors, who's been getting top three in many back brawls, doing fantastic with the Angie, versus Test Your Luck. I mean, a top NA player here, uh, sponsored by Nine Moons. And uh, by the way, so is Festival. Wait, double Nine Moons? Double Nine Moons today in the bracket. And uh, I think... yeah, I mean, just a really high level match. Very excited to see it. Who eliminated no, Test Your Luck from Winterside, by the way? 
Uh, no idea, but I keep forgetting that um, Test Your Luck is sponsored by Nymans. I, I genuinely do every time. Well, I hope they are, because I put in the thing. Maybe if they're not, that's a little awkward. <laughs> they got knocked out by Yoho Spell. Free Ooh. Oh, my lord. Chill, yeah, chill. Yoho has been gaming today. I mean, truly playing some fantastic Guilty Gear. Right now, so is Test Your Luck. Has Scissors trapped in the corner, and that is going to be game one. That was quick. Oh, yeah, it was. On to game. <laughs> <laughs> on the game too. Uh, big 5k there. Unable to confirm. We're gonna be a little out of range. The blood is looking high. Scissors finds the knockdown. Sent to the corner. Those are the far slash whiffs. A fantastic spin into the fish. Gives up the burst. Does test your luck. All right. Having to hold some of that offense. And why do you get the spin going? But nothing off of it. Backing up. Pushed into the corner. Gets clipped by the far slash. Immediately Barson. Again, not really a lot of space for uh, Scissors to kind of like rush in, but finally getting a whiff punish, finally getting and setting up the pressure. Oh, Catches him with the low. Got the meter to confirm. That low get Fujin that has some reach. And at that oh, range, a lot of Nagos especially are going to be pressing back dash because it's a very good one. Very invincible, very large. All right, Nagi so has a, a lot of reach and it also gives you a pickup. So has it gotten more likely. reach in recent years? I feel like Fujin is just bigger and better. Yeah, well, it's it's his key move, you know. So when it comes to buffing the character. What do you buff, you know? True. Double O. You're only the overhead fast oh. gets a PRC. That's bro. That right there is some OG Nago tech, and it's fun to see it. The PRC command grabs are crazy. Nah, nah, it's gross, man. I would never do a PRC command grab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, I I believe the Potemkin land. Who never, totally does not have 17 videos out of doing taunt PRC command grabs. <laughs> don't tell him, don't tell him. Oh, <laughs> Exposed live on the air. Ooh, okay. It's a decent bit of damage. Test your luck. Two bars Plain here for scissors, though. One bar built yeah, for test your luck. How... Finds, the, finds the counter hit, baits Ooh. the burst, and there it is. Test your luck will take game two as well. All right. Hopping into the third match, and I noticed the Tester Luck was able to kind of change the pace of that last round there, going from high speed to slow speed, and that's what I think makes Nago's game plan so good. Absolutely, can, able to dictate if, the pace of the match so well, and yeah. it's such high efficacy too, because you see that Nago has some of the best rushdown in the game, as well as some of the best just like mid-screen neutral. Oh, I, oh, I. it's Big really out buttons, there, but some good I damage. Roll. Scissors is in a bit of a rough spot. If they need to make this comeback happen, it needs to be now. You can't let them have the round, have that momentum, and then you need to work what against a them. What a parry. Yeah, fantastic option there. Avoids the high-low mix all together. Meets into the sky with a J, whatever it is, because I don't know, but <laughs> flies in, gets deflected away. Bro, deflect Beyblade, a god-tier option, especially since it's a low. Oh Wait, that's god. actually insane. Wait, backpack. What's up? I'm getting, I'm getting like, Flashbacks to sell light auto combo and deflect me. <laughs> <laughs> when as soon as you said that, it flashed in my mind. You know what I mean? You deflect I know exactly what like you mean. You're the anti deflect from sell. <laughs> oh my god. On the, the auto string. That's nah, funny. that's gross. That's actually gross. But... What a parry oh, again no. from Scissors, who's still showing life in this set and finds a way to take the round. Needs one more, though, to get on the board. It's just a guy typing sex with a man anytime he gets battery super. <laughs> I love that song. That, was, that song's hilarious. Oh my god. Goes to the low, Back backs now. off, avoids the 2S. Great job right now, oh, avoids wow, the command grab, a back throw, Nago trapped in the corner, no defensive options here, and the blood is high, it's gonna be difficult to deal with, and a react co, very good option there from Scissors, optimal anti-air, and huge damage here, able to secure that hard knockdown. And positive bonus it's going to be very difficult for Tester Luck to find a way out. Goes to the deflect. This time not on the Beyblade. The blood's going to be too high. Goes oh, to the parry. No. Going to be a trade. PRC forward. Backs off. Tries oh, to bait, but caught. Is. And Scissors will get on the board. Still down one to two, but showing hope. On to game four. Tries to fly him with the Fujin, but the aggression is absolutely punished. Right now, Tester Luck dictating the pace. Finds the hit with an Agiha. Cop of the 6P, challenge up with the 2S, burst gone, resources gone, blood is high, test your luck against the corner. But Back. finds the hit with a far slash, and that's a saving grace. That could have been a very bad situation. Ooh. All of a sudden, they're absolutely in the lead, able to block in time, goes to the YRC. Scissors has a bar. If they want to avoid the big spill, caught by the command grab, and I love that option there from test your luck. Because uh, you're going to avoid the flak, you're going to avoid the parry, you're going to yeah. avoid, you know, it's so good. Especially when yeah. they're expecting to have to block high-low. That's not jumping. 
Covering a lot of uh, defensive options is definitely a great thing about Nago. We will say that much. Pretty good. Oh my god, good. he is sell. He is Tries to go for the cope, but oh out of range. Goes oh, for the overhead and scissors. You want to elaborate? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. Uh, elaborate later. Elaborate later. <laughs> oh, it's extra for man. Oh, <laughs> the chat Tries it. to fly in. Goes to the double O. Into the six feet. Fast enough to catch the far slash. And scissors is absolutely still in this. Never stop. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, good burst. Oh, Finds able to get the spin for him. With the fish deflected away. Chown is at with an Agiha. Our knockdown. Close slash. Overhead, but it's Angie oh Mix. God. PRC into the throat. Sets to the butterfly. Turns to the bird. Tries to go for the plus frames. The both players going to jump at the same time. Avoids the 5H. And here with the 5P. Resets. And it's enough. Out of nowhere, Scissors comes back in the set, and we're all tied up two to two. Funny. On to game five in this high octane set, going down to the wire. Burst gone for Scissors. No defensive options now. Tester Luck though flies into the air to air with Nago. Not something we often see. Trap in the corner is Scissors. Top of the 2P. Nice confirm as well, and the blood is going to be really high. Uses the RC and sets up the pop with it. I haven't seen Fantastic that. Fantastic option. Yeah, that's like a season one option as well. Oh, it went for the a jump. very long time since I've seen it. You know, that gave me flashbacks to like Hotashi winning Evo. It's been a very <laughs> long time since I've seen that kind of setup, oh. but right there it just seemed right. I don't think there was a way to avoid the pop, so they use the meter to take advantage of it and create a setup. And that oh, kind right. of thinking in the moment is really, really smart. Yeah, it's definitely still an absolute clever play to go for that. If the blood is about to pop, but again, it's it's way more riskier in season three, considering that they get back burst as soon as uh, you did, uh -oh. and that's a tough situation for Tester Lock. Is it death though? The scissors have it ready with the RC. It might be enough. Oh my lord! Oh, down the corner! They got the TOD. The Angie TOD to force final game, final round, the double Luigi. Choked mid statement earlier. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a catch on the spin. Holding the block. Holding out, gonna get caught by the load. The blood is pumping, but uh -oh. gets him with the throw. And just like that, that's a horrible situation. Oh yeah, is the super enough to kill though? Angie's got a I lot of guts. I, I don't think enough. he got that much guts. He I think that's six enough. six or seven to survive. And there it is. Test your luck, we'll take the set three to two. First match of top six, loser side, Canada on the sin versus Festival on the Axle Festival coming off of a fantastic win. I'm mean, truly dominating and I'm excited to see if they can carry that momentum over to this game. Already a fantastic jump in into some good damage. Canada trapped in the corner. Oh, and that's some good damage, especially off of the bomber. One more. Ooh, for the finish, there's triple bomber special. Festival taking the first round. Festival. Oh no. Is that a good confirm from Canada? And it's all standing. That's an interesting note as well. If Lost Lumps were still good in this current meta, I, I, that would worry me about uh, Sin because a lot of his attacks leave the opponent standing. It's interesting Ooh. how they went about nerfing Wall Slumps. They're like, we're going to yeah. give the opponent so many resources that you won't do it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they, they essentially went like, please, please don't do it. And some HC means would be like, We did not intend this and we don't know how to fix it. <laughs> Some things oh just don't. God. I mean, how hard is it to make it just like so they don't slump anymore? <laughs> oh my god. Jumps out. Playing a bit patient, looking for an opportunity again. Oh, but West the jump in. Get I just remember this in as a meter. <laughs> yeah, you stamina? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, we got zero. Uh, what is that meter even called? Stamina? Yeah, it's stamina. Okay, I thought it was called food meter. That's a completely that's different thing. No, food that's, is completely that's useless, right? Right? That's egg. Oh, yeah, food, yeah, yeah, food no, is right. useless. Right? And this is like food that has RNG give you different abilities. But because it's whoa, so whoa, 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 crap. Whoa, whoa, hear me out, hear me out. Food? Food Dre Arc? I'm starting to think Sin and Kai are related. <laughs> Actually it's related to Potemkin. Can't you tell? <laughs> think about it. Think about it. They're both stupid. Oh? I just had a big brain moment there. 
<laughs> you may have. Kai is way taller. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, fantastic super into the double bomber, and it is enough. Festival will take game one. On to game two. Round start. Elk Hunt finds out with a low trap in the corner is Axel. Goes for low, cancels into the overhead, unable to block it, but does find a way out of the corner with the ID. <laughs> yeah, tries to rush him with that 2S, not gonna get him. But what the Elk Hunt manages to set, get him, but burst comes off the table. I think that was also gold burst on hit, that's mental. Oh, backing up. I'm trying to get a big whip punish so they could get in, but I want a major 2H just to deny that spacing. The time stop? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Nice. Well blocked, sets up the time to oh, back up, to gets him the 2K. And punish us for the tornado for the plus frames. That was a Rashid moment, by the way. No, no, surely not. <laughs> Hard knockdown, runs over the mix, close slash, low, double low, blocks it, but not expecting the overhead cancel. And Condit will take the round. This can be so tricky on that mix. You really yeah. have to be staring for that overhead. I, is it even reactable? I believe it's in uh, the 20 frame range. Like, okay, really so early, reactable, like 20 staring 21. for it. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> Like, again, it's like fighting game reactable. I think fighting game yeah. reactable is like 22 frames in my mind. 22 frames? I think yeah. Yeah, 22 frames something is consistently reactable. Yeah, I think that's, 20 that's frames is reactable, but it's like, you just have to be looking for it. Yeah, that's what exactly what And then if you're saying, actually you know, good at fighting game. games, like 17 frames is Ooh. like looking for it reactable. That's not me. That's though. Canada. That's Canada, man. Oh, up yeah. 1-1. One, one. Yep, ties it up. Whatever. On to game three, goes to the 6 p. <clears throat> Fantastic. Send to the corner. Breaks the wall. Oh my god. Well blocked. Backs up. Tries to approach him with the JHs, but not gonna get anything, but gets the 6P confirmed. <laughs> Surely gonna be able to get the wall off of this, but no. Goes for a reset to set up that overhead. Yeah, once Looking again, that fast cancel low is very difficult to deal with, and they're mixing in the Elk Hunt as well. And so yeah. you gotta be checked for that as well. Uh, one thing to note, though, is that the Elk Hunt is obviously much, much slower than the overhead, so you can try to, like, stand block. We fall into other options, so. It's all about risk and reward in the way that you're gonna defend. Weaknesses to all sorts of defensive strategies. But right now, Festival doing a great job of neutral. Don't have to hold the mix if you can keep them away, but runs him the 6P, finds the knockdown trap in the corner again. And Festival is having a real hard time. Resets into the hell 5D, and that is disrespectful. Canada goes up two to one. <laughs> On to game, it was funny, that's for sure. On to game four, where Festival is trying to continue the zoning, but Kanada is having no problems finding a way in. And, you know, Sindus has that many engagement tools. Oh, I. Uh, he has so many. He's got Elkhan, he's got a really good run speed. His jump in's also dead quick. He's, he's got a lot on his boat. Uh, his boat? That's not even a thing. His plate, there you go. That's better. <laughs> All good. In his boat? Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't know why I said that, honestly. <laughs> Hard knockdown. It's quite the ball. Into the OTG goes for the command grab. Akana looking for it, even though it was the first time it was represented so far. Went for oh. throw PRC backwards to avoid the option. Time reset for the extension, and that was just a sick moment. Damn, I don't know what it is, but Axels, man, they, the higher level Axels, they're either so saucy at hearts are so boring at hearts <laughs> the, oh, don't <laughs> you know? call people out <laughs> the sauce hey, is definitely hey, I think, here right I'm not call anyone out this guy's this is definitely the, sauce. the most excited the i've ever been watching an axel i mean truly Ooh. i mean they're just doing it really really good right now and canada is keeping the pace high goes for the empty throw you're expecting the high low it's so difficult goes for the oh, super baited blocked? went for oh. the dp punish I, you know, whatever works, Wait, it you, works, you know. Couldn't you have done so much more damage? All right, maybe, um, okay. Gold Lewis can literally jump over the super, and then because his, like, jump is so short, you can just land Ooh. in close slash. Uh, no, but a lot maybe of characters can, can just, that. a lot of characters ID can maybe? just jump in. Yeah, no, That's you really get, like, lack of damage. I, I think he picked DP because... Oh, maybe beforehand. Maybe they'd already... Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. I think it may have been a beforehand option. Oh. Big Rush jump in, bro! Oh, went for the empty low! Fantastic mm. anti air here. This is festival so tournament bad. life on the line, by the way, but the super might just be enough to keep it there. 
It's He's not still enough. Alive. It's scaled, and Condita still has a chance to close this out here. It has the full meter. Gets Can the just Canada from there. That's a knockdown. Trap in the corner, Ooh. but yeah. Disengaging JS. JS. Pretty rep. good. Not bad at all. There we go. Game five will be forced. On to game five. That's what this set deserves. I mean, truly, this has been a fantastic match by both players. Excited to see who will take it. Finds the hit with the 2H. Obviously, no follow up there, but certainly a follow up after that. Counter hit. No. You want to rush in, but again, deny these two, two Ps and two H's. Just covering that perfect space, but what a jump in with the overhead. Gets another throw. Stick it out, goes for empty land throw. Oh, loads overhead, but it was Gives well up blocked. the burst immediately. The burst. Still has that meter though, but whiffs, doesn't PRC to stay safe. Now they're still trapped in the corner. Fantastic read on the overhead, but doesn't <laughs> expect the second. Tex the throw, finds the hit RC, has another bar in the back. Is it enough? Goes for PRC, drops the combo, and loses all meter. Disaster strikes here for Festival, but it's still redeemable. This needs one more hit, and they what? find it. Set point here for Festival. Want that low crushed as well? That's mental. Oh, wow. What Amazing a round start. I very well played. Sorry, got some. gone. Yep. Ooh. Backdash caught with the 2S. Goes to the DP, but the follow up is there. No pickup. That's saving Aye, grace here for Festival. I right, able to get that overhead. And a good confirm as well. Dumping the damage, and now they have to guess here. Backdash BRC? Nope. Surely. Trying to go for the throw, but it was baited. And once again, we will be seeing a final game. Final round, the WWE team WG. these two players. Yeah, once the Russian when they overhead, but immediately challenge him with his 2k. Axel definitely has that really good defensive poke. Yeah, there was DLC, you know what you call it. Yeah, but he ain't no DLC. <laughs> base roster, he got that base, base roster 2k. 2K. <laughs> base 2k. Oh, keeping the, keeping the space in the 2h. Throwing out some less committal options, but Canada picks the perfect time. Fantastic tech to stay alive, has the HP advantage, but the aggression starts from Canada. Lose the burst in time to go for the overhead block, but the follow-up again. Finds the hit, RC to extend the offense. Back to neutral. Yeah, backs up. Canada is a bit scared to approach right now. His health is a bit low, so I can kind of understand where he's coming from. But at that That's point, it. he makes something happen. Otherwise, Festival takes it. Final game of top six loser side. We have Test Your Luck versus Dan Fango. The battle of the White Wild Assaults on characters that don't use them really. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> well, Batman uses it the yeah, most. Yeah, uses it a thing. lot. And you can see that they're already both gone. First, they're off the table for both players. Finds the hit, does Fandango. Uh, Dan Fango. <laughs> now that's going to mess me up consistently. Oh, gets the JH. Able to get good confirm here. Gets the kill because of the high blood. Dan Fango taking the lead. But yeah, I mean, Backpack, we were talking about this. We were saying, when it comes to White Whale Assault, Nagori Yuki probably uses it the least, and Batman uses it the most. True. And the reason being, Batman needs it, Nagori Yuki Yeah, it's doesn't. like fundamental to, <laughs> to Batman's offense, especially with like influencing timings for follow ups. No. It's very good. Obviously, also, Batman's a character that needs to stay in to actually do pressure. That's a great way to do it. Right there goes to the deflect. I feel like Nago is really happy using Deflect because they have fantastic normals afterwards. We saw earlier with the Beyblade being fantastic, but they also just have big normals Ooh. like 5H. Yeah, again, the cell auto combo. <laughs> deflect oh, nice. again, try to go for it. But yeah, Bedman is a great way to chase after a Deflect in 2H. Back yeah, to neutral, there's the PRC into the JS for the plus frames in the sky. Multi hitting low is enough, and Dan Fango will take game one. On to game two, Dan Fango coming off a nice win right now. Oh, fantastic double overhead block. Tries to be in the sky with the JP, but Nago comes out on top in the air to air battle. Nice. I'm playing a bit patiently Blood's here. so high. The blood is so yeah. high, able to avoid it. Tries to jump in, Ooh. but it's going to be a trade, a very favorable one here for Tester Luck, who's very close to building the bar. Able to backdash that far slash. Oh, into going into the, the install. Guaranteed hit. Does if you install the one let you down. Oh yeah. Oh what uh, a jump in. And we'll get a solid combo here, push it to the wall, get rid of some of that blood, let me use some more blood options as Tesla Lock gets wild in the corner. Going for the high lows. 
very difficult to block. Round star goes for the white wild assault. In Vulns to remove, able to get a nice little punish there. Send Nago into the corner, who currently is at low blood, but still doesn't have a burst to work with. Now he's going to be at full burst. Boom. So much damage, though. Deflect might be an option here, but because that blood is low, they're not going to have big normals to challenge it up with. So it's probably going to be a Kabe Blade. And that's going to be something that Danfinger is going to think about when it does eventually happen here. But for now, they're just going to find the hit into the install, and that's going to be enough. Ah, that's a load of damage, man. Dan Fang Fango. Eh, eh, what a name. Uh, hopefully, they'll be able to make it back into this round here. But Tesla still demands the offense because they've got that low blood. Good pickup here with the 5Ks. Gets the damage. Lowers some of that blood with final hit far slash. Fukio's in, finds the Fukio. triple far slash. I wonder if they could have gone with meter. I guess uh, Tesla would know way better than me, though. Able to find that second hit. Takes it with a perfect. Ties it up one to one. On to game three oh. with JD into land and finds that follow up hit. Tries to use the wild, wild assault there, but ultimately not going to come to fruition. Dan Fango gives up the burst. Yeah, jump in. Oh, good backdash on the throw. Just like that. Tesla able to get some solid damage as he pushes it to the corner, gets a close slash counter hit, deletes the health bar with that 6 H. And right now we are seeing the big difference in risk award and neutral. It's a little better for one of these characters than the other. Oh, I. Unless one of them has a funny two. Oh, no. The Beyblade. It's one of the best anti ears in the game. Nice. Mix. Oh, I know. Dude. And the this BRC character nice has pickup. Mix, though. Isn't that wild? He needs it, Panda. Come on. Right, You're a hater. Right, my bad. Absolutely. Maybe. King Main being a hater on a fellow big body. Disgusting. Test your life. We'll take game three. All right. Hopping into the fourth match here, Test Sherlock on the lead right now. They're going to want to keep that momentum, tries to bait the burst, but burst immediately off the table. But a massive 2H counter hit. Leads to a solid 50% chunk. Nasty stuff there. Dan Fingo needs to bring it back into this round here. <laughs> that's pretty good. Is that it's not fair? bad. No, it's decent. Legal? It's decent. Is that it's legal? not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Hear me out, Ben. It's not bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. Not that bad. Not so, that Test bad. Your Luck is now on set point here in his top six loser side match. Finds the hit with the sweep. Backs Ooh, off, down. doing a great job spacing Dan Fango. Unable to find a way out. Still trapped in the corner is Dan Fango. Keeping the block strings tight. Super jumps in, caught with a six feet. That was a great way for Dan Fango to find a way out. I mean, truly, uh, Test Your Luck went for one over extension there. And Dan Fango is ready. And that right there might be enough to flip the entire momentum of the set. That might be the set oh. difference here. Big close slash picks Ooh. it up and takes the round. Fantastic. Right. Sometimes you have to find your moment. And that's exactly what Dan Fango did there. Right. I like that RC cancel as well. Again, very aware where Test Your Luck was in that moment. But that's just unfortunate. It gets caught by another counter hit Beyblade. Immediately pushed into the corner. And now they have to guess against Nago, the mix-up character now. Uh -oh. Oh. <gasps> Messes up the BRC mix, and Dan Fango looking to win this year. Tries to go for the throw, and Tester Luck goes for super jump as Nago. What a defensive option there. That's crazy. And it paid off. Like that? What a read. Tester Luck takes it 3-1. to one. All right, you got Winners it, you got it. finals, it is Scambolini on the Kai versus Yoho Spill on the Testament. Damn, and we're already off to some amazing damage from Scambolini here. Oh my god, the DP can farm? Yeah, it just never ends. On that double positive started. bonus life now. <laughs> yeah, we just, just we throw just started. out these resources, goes to the BRC immediately. Dash in, food tracking as well, and yo, Spill not afraid to challenge the plus frames. Ooh. I think when your HP is low, like, the risk reward is actually good to mash because you're losing the round anyways. Oh, <laughs> you I know what I mean? There's a point yeah, where, like, you're losing a round that they can risk, you know, to find a way back into the set. And right now, it's really paying off. Yoho spell all of a sudden is still in this game and steals <laughs> the round! All off Lies of battle. that one read. Godlike. Like, you said it best, right? You said it best. One play when you're on defense and a losing round situation could change it. And that was it. Yeah, and I know Scambolini's, like, you know, beating himself up right now for that. 
Because obviously you could have just kept it tight and, and won, you know, when you had such an advantage. But obviously taking risks is very important as well. Oh, I. Oh, well blocked on the overhead. Catches him. With the, re God. the Reaper. And I think that's it. Yoho took That is the absolutely first match. enough. Yeah, Yoho spill is still on one. We'll take game one to go up one to zero. On anyway. to game two. Dash in with the 2k 2d Yoho spill. Finds early knockdown to carry this momentum. All right, and right now they're rushing in. Try to use their normals to keep the pressure going with the staggers, but not going to get anything. Not going to get Yoho to bait. And just like they were able to flip the situation around, catches them with the overhead, able to dump some solid damage, but we are back into neutral. No, I'm sorry. Wait, Is it so neutral? I forgot. <laughs> yeah, DP. DP's neutral. DP's neutral. Absolutely neutral. Sets up the H projectile for the plus frame 6k for even more. Yoho spill mixing up the defensive options that jump into the 2k finds the hit, takes the round. Ah, uh, damn, 2k is such a good defensive tool. It's all right. When it's used correctly, bad. man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite out there, man. Ooh. Hear me out, give every character test mix 2k and 6p. Right, Especially gold though. Give every character a wave dash. <laughs> That'd be kind of hate. And the Doria. Yeah, 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 and the Doria. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Could you, could you imagine so much? I just feel like, Dory, Dory. <laughs> oh my god. That's some solid damage there by Scambolini. A little bit of patience here. Again, they're going for the stagger the rounds and it's going to get them caught by that super. Into the overhead, sets the projectile. That's going to cover the ground. That was a fantastic read by Scambolini. Going for yeah. the landing JS is not only like pretty low commit option, but it can test the space in front of you as well as directly under you for the teleport. I mean, those are the the kinds of uh, the kinds of options like recognizing a risk-free awesome reward option. I mean, that's just really, really great here. Scambling takes advantage of it, and off that read, they're yeah. able to take the round. I am not. It was a uh, top class read. It's one of those ones where if you're aware of the teleport and where they could possibly use it and when they could possibly use it, yeah, you got some good stuff cooking. Oh, good luck. Just keep it in with oh, the reapers, but the just like the bird. Why did that That's BCP wild. if you're standing right in front of it? Ah, uh, because, you know, they got that evasion on their heart box, you know? Can we get some Dorias? Oh, no, nah, that's a massive <laughs> counter. No, it's worth bitch. implementing the Doria patch just so I can hear the voice lines from every character in all their languages. Oh, my God, that's <laughs> funny. Oh, out of range for the punish. Far slash wild assault in. Dash in, overhead, RC to stay. They have another bar in the back as well. Comes the air, can go for the teleport instead. Contest the oh. space, landing, move, overhead. Able to block food truck is plus five. Nice. is enough. And Scambolini ties it up one to one. Oh. On to game three. Goes to the round start 2D, backs off, throws out some projectiles. Both players playing patiently, but Yoho Spill finds a way in with the 2K, but plays patiently, does Scambolini. Challenge is out, send to the wall, and will secure that early positive bonus. Oh, oh, nice. Gets him with the scum dipper. Gonna use the mirror, but gonna get bursted out. Well placed by Yoho, denying all that pressure. The Grave Reapers sets up the birds, avoids the Arbor of Satan, and wants the Fuji Arc just right in there. Oh, wait, DP is uh, an electric. Oh my god, I'm there now. I'm there. <laughs> Are you implying DP oh should be plus five on block? Uh, F time correctly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our knockdown here, Scambolini, 5k, is safe, able to avoid this as well. It goes for the PRC, a double metered option to get out of the situation entirely. Stole the projectile in the back, that's a teleport out of the corner if they can do it, Good but blocks. it's probably going to go away soon. Tried to get out, but caught by the low, and Scambolini is an opportunity to go up in the set. Nice, catch some of the turkey after that run-in. Goes for the Fuji Arc, catches him with the close slash. Yo, had to burst there. They were a massive amount of damage. Oh, goes for the 2Ks, the curse, the staggers. Well blocked overall, though. Fuji Arc to cover the sky, taking Yoho Spill out of the sky, securing the plus ring, finding the hit, send through the wall. And this right here is a guest for your life situation. Yoho Spill with a bar, though. Able to use oh. the Wild Assault for the extension, send to the corner. Do no, I'm with the super, but it's fine. This so trap in the corner, throws the projectile, oh. and it is good. Scambolini is on set point. On yeah. to game four, Scambolini is an opportunity to make this win happen. But Yoho Spiller now going for the full screen mix. Ooh, want to rush him in the 2D. Catches him in the Grave Reaper, and that's not good. Pick up here with the bar, gets him with the Arbor saying, 
And gonna use that whale assault to get the wall break for that hard knockdown. Nasty testament mechs coming up, but no DP out. Goes for the electric. I'm coining that. I'm coining that. That's Kai's DP now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Kermit's are the Axel Metal and the Angie mix again. Oh my god, yeah. The top 5D into the PRC lows. It's an unblockable. That patience here. Oh, I love the use of 2K, wow, by punish. the way, to low profile the projectiles. I know it's just a little thing, but it's something I wish I could do. <laughs> I think that's it's, a it's, really it's cool interaction. It's just a wee hang, you know? It's a wee hang. Oh, able to clash, cancel with the DP, finds it with a 2S burst is gone here for Scambellini. And the, oh my god, 6P! Sand of the wall, not gonna be close enough for the confirm, but Wild Assault 10 goes to the unblockable again! But, dude, this is what I'm talking about. Scambellini <laughs> identifies the situation, realizes I don't have to block this. Instead, uh, in the gap, do a DP, finds a way out, not able to convert this to a win this time. But what a great read. And Yoho Spell takes game four to force the game five. Game five situation history will be made today. Boom. Oh, nice. Game I think no matter what, by the way, damage. we get a new back world champion. I think all of these players are not back world champions. Oh, I this is true. So we're getting this a new one today. Which is very, Ooh. very hype. Send to the corner. Extension builds the super, and it's enough. Scambellini is on winner's finals point. Damn. Okay. Can Scambellini close it out, or will Yoho bring it empty! back? We're about to find out. That is so nasty. Empty throw. That is wild. This time went for the empty low, but Scambellini once again utilizing DP to avoid the mix. And does it again. Well blocked. He tries to friend some pressure with these close slashes. The food oh, gonna get carried that's a by good the starter. <gasps> but somehow it's not gonna work there. Able to use the piercy to stay safe, but ultimately that meter is gone and the risk is so high. It's not often Kai's able to build up this kind of risk, but fortunately Yoho Spill finds a knockdown and slowly it's dissipating. Backing up. Oh no. I'm gonna be real. In, I need this to go blown. to final game, final round. It, oh, it yeah, has to yeah. happen, but cop of the 5k. Scambellini is an opportunity right here to end it, but goes to the Super Pierce, the Invincible Lows. Jumps in, finds the hit with the overhead, backdashes the low, finds the counter hit, there it is! Final game, final round, the double Luigi once again secured, and this set is going the distance. I can hear the table being slammed. I did <laughs> slam the table a little, just a tiny I bit. Left you. <laughs> Not that much, but Yo is oh. able to break the wall with that five hit combo. Nice. Tries to go for the overhead. Well blocked though, has the bar. Oh, good scum dipper again. Keep the pressure Lots going. Lots of meter here for Yoho. Full bars right now. Overhead into the curse. Sets up the curse again. And this can be dire here for Scambellini. Finds the hit again, but no pickup. Once again, still is another bar. Has the teleport Ooh. out, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Finds a way in with the low. This is absolutely not over. The delay into the close slash, leaving a gap for the opponent to super, but then also ready for the fuzzy. Finds the hit, both players are on low HP. Yost well, has the meter right now, but the positive bonus is a coming for Tabellini. Finds it with 6P, confirms into the wild assault, and that is it. Yoho Spill will move on to grand finals on winner's side. Yeah. Loser semifinals here. We have Festival. Oh, you know what? I, I just realized this is a Nine Moons Mare match. I didn't add it to the thing, but now it's there. Uh, so both <laughs> players representing it's Nine there. Moons today. Uh, Tester Lux actually like a sponsored player for Nine Moons. And Festival, I I want to say just content, but it might be something else. But something within Nine Moons, maybe video production or something. But uh, yeah. Festival or Nine Moons has a big old team with a lot of different tasks. But either way, it is a team fight here today, and both players are truly fantastic at the game. Both players have been playing fantastic all day, and Festival opting to play a lot slower than we've seen from them before. I, That's so probably far, because of the high reward of Destry Lock, you know, from Naga. <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. One thing Naga was really good at doing is slowly closing up that Pumped. space. That's so oh, interesting. That is so, so messed up. What's so cool about that? Test your luck tried to time the explosion for festival's approach but festival didn't put his hurt box anywhere near that just absolutely baited it and took game one on to game two where festival has the game advantage but also is going to win the round start with a back throw in the wild assault hold on let's go controller i uh, just looked at it um oh yeah 
Oh, damn. You Catch love the Dragon Ball, so you really like the controller, probably. I, I really do, bro. I really do. Oh, the mirror. RC up. Into the JS. You know, that's an option that Tester Luck has been representing for years now on Nago. And that is the RC up into either overhead or empty low or empty command Aye. grab. It's, <laughs> it's, it's quite nasty. effective. It's quite nasty. It's like doing DP1 on me. Because uh, then you have to guess between the high, the low, or the grab. Except it's a little bit quicker in that sense. Ooh, patience here. Once it threatened with the white whale assault. I think that's the first ever white whale assault. Yeah, I think it actually matters for the Axel matchup. I think white wild assault kind of counters Axel, and that's why it was kind of necessary that Axel got something new. White wild assault is an incredible, incredible option against Axel. Oh, Probably more so like... than any other character in the game because of how committal these normals are. Because, uh, like, that is the thing about Axel, right? A lot of his normals cover key and important areas, but, like, yeah, if but you only that them... area and they have high recovery for when you're wrong. You know, they want those to be punished. But, hmm. uh, yeah, when it's an invul lariat, you know, it can't really, you know, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Oh, bro, when I hear Larry, I just think about the uh, Z Broly train. Yeah. I use the term Lariat because I oh. started with fighters like you. <laughs> I don't know if that's uh. actually a term other fighting games use, but Dragon Ball fighters absolutely use it. 2D into the RC. Ooh. That is a check as a burst bait as well as a side switch combo. And it's barely not going to be enough and gets caught by the explosion. It's still in his game, but fantastically spaced there. Yet right on the whiff. It's ready and Festival has an opportunity to go up 2-0 against Test Your Luck in this set. I, and I think something that we should also note there is that I think Tester Luck was trying to play to his disjoints for that round finale. <laughs> kind of hoping to clip one of the long range normals that Axel oh, had. Oh, a rain that on was the bay sick! Player. What a read there! Nago trapped in the corner trying to walk out, but the blood is high, so you can't really commit so many options, but that's certainly one of them. Empty hop into the JS there is really, really sweet, but it's not going to be enough. Commits the burst festival. We'll keep Tester Luck in the corner. That blood is lowering, but it's not. Oh, oh my God. It was low enough to do that, but it's going to pop. Fortunately, they were close to the opponent, so it's not going to be Take a full stop. punish, but at one pixel left. Oh. Goes to the super. That's crazy. That's crazy. What a read. It had to be something with long startup, and from that range, is likely to win. So Tester Luck commits and gets rewarded. Goes up two to one. Sorry about that, it's actually 1-1. One, one. Don't know why I said it was 2-1, but uh, I accidentally clicked it twice and then gaslit myself. But 2K into the Fukio forward. Absolutely baited here by Festival. Burst gone for Test Your Luck. Oh, he wanted to play to the air with some of his normals, but he pushed it to the corner. Festival just runs out. Oh my God, it's so brave. <laughs> and Test Your Luck gets up the space. It is Naga very brave, because Nago obviously has great ways to contend space with big old normals with high reward. Yeah, not a whole lot of Camille. Oh, back to H, and that's gonna be a big time stop yeah, combo. Yeah, that's enough. Bomber. Another one. Wait for Another it. One? Easy pick up with a close slash, and obviously that was gonna kill because of the wall. Oh, I. Oh, good six P here on the round start, but challenges out with the two K swap. Dude, the what a cool for the rain war. What a cool option. I think a lot of people are going to backdash on the side switch like that, especially when you have the big info backdash like Nago. And so you yeah. can like absolutely call out that exact defensive option by going for that. And I mean, clearly okay. it's working. Throw yeah, RC oh fast God, cancel and Festival is up two to one against Tester Luck. All right. Hopping in what to, uh, hopping into what could be the final round, the final match. Oh, dude, I'm just humbled that man. Go on, go on, take it from me. I'm humbled. <laughs> fan of fumbling the bag. What's I've now? been fumbling my speeches all day today. <laughs> that little, uh, missed time to the two S, but finds the hit anyways in the scramble. Burst gone for both players. Tries to jump in, overextends. Oh. Cop the six P picks up with a close slide. Another drop combo. Builds the meter. Sets that up and it's at a weird height though, so it's gonna be difficult to pick it up and didn't even pick it up for the wall. Very unfortunate there. Oh my but god. Tester like still trapped in the corner. It's gonna be that was a very, very fortunate trade there. As Festival able to stay oh. alive because of it. I the back and forth poking is a little scary. Good backdash on that throw and one to friend some good Let's hide. pokes there. Wow. 
Hard wow. commits to the jump, and it pays off. Oh. It, bro. Was that super PRC? Yes, that was super PRC challenge. That was so sick. Oh, my What great God. utilization. And this right here is set point for Festival, who's playing oh out Lord. of their mind right now. I mean, truly great guilty gear. That was the second DP counter hit follow-up. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, the far slash oh, commits to death. the far. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Didn't wait. Okay, now it's death. <laughs> but it may as well be death, you know? <laughs> overhead, overhead, low in three frames. Are you blocking it all? Nope. <laughs> I I was barely standing, if I'm honest. Oh, nice. Oh, oh baited. the back dash. Absolutely baited. Now there's no burst on the table. Gets aggressive. Festival definitely feeling himself right now. Finds the hit with the JS and the knockdown. Absolute lockdown. Test your luck. Still trapped. The blood is very high. They can't commit to any special move options. And that food kill means it. the blood is going to pop. I don't know if they realize it yet, though. The pop is guaranteed. The pop is guaranteed, but they did oh, it. That was a guaranteed win in the set. But, the, but finds a hit anyways. And Festival will take it three to one. Losers finals. It is Festival coming off a big win against uh, Tester Luck. Versus Scambolini, who's been cooking all day and had a crazy close set against Yoho Spell. Oh my god, and yeah, they just used their entire burst meter to go for some really uninterrupted offense. Yep. Not a bad show considering they have the corner, but missed oh, the throw. This is when it gets rough though, when you commit those resources to extend offense and it doesn't come into a hit. Uh, PRC, sucks, that's cause... more resources Ooh. gone, blocks the DP from the back so it's not punishable. Not an interaction you see often. Good blocks. Love for an opportunity to rush in. But guy catch him with the rainwater on that big weft. Sets up the Westling winds. Good jump. Stays patient. Oh, finds the knockdown. Builds the bar. Blocks the stun dipper. Sets up the plus frames. Backs off. Re-engages. That trade is very favorable for the Axel here. Health is low for both Ooh. players. But has the RC for the extension. And that's enough. Axel Bomber kind of does damage. I'm starting to realize. Oh, I, oh I, yeah, Axel does a good bad damage. Weapon without mirror. Right off the right hits, good damage. With mirror, I, it's just any hit. Ooh, the trade. It will set some pressure. Well blocked there. Going to catch him with the rain war. But again, blocked. Tries to jump out. Scampley gets caught by another rain war. Staggering out with the cold slashes, dashing for the throw. It's funny how Kai can make, see. like, just regular old strike throw look so strong, you know? Yep, see, that's goes through the conditioning stagger. again, the double close slash into the far slash this time around. 5H finds the counter, I think that's gonna kill. And, uh, yep, Festival realized it too, so they give up the burst, find the hit. Next, it's probably gonna take this meter on both players' minds. Goes to the PRC back, into the sail of the snail, at least I think that's what it's called. Chases <laughs> in the sky, and the air throw is enough. What a great read, Festival takes game one. Yeah. Up and into the second batch here, and it seems like Samuelini went for a really raw chase with the 2H. And uh, Festival's just kind of throw punches. That's, That's all they're doing. Oh, 5P2P, my 5P2P. God. 5P2P. 5P2P, what are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you going to do? 5P2P. Oh, okay, this is a good pickup. And to the super, going to deal a lot of damage with that wall break. And of course, Kai has a good safe jump from here, but just goes for the running jab into the throw. Friend, some more pressure going, but a good poke out with the 5k. Finds it, RC for the extension. Sent to full screen, and that's gonna enable the zoning, but the issue is that Fujiro are gonna confirm is gonna be a ton of damage. Not that it's a kill, but certainly the resources there to close it out right here. Once again, the empty 5p into throw. Uh, definitely an option they've represented a lot. And remember, we saw them lose a game earlier because of it when they were in DI. Oh, I. Oh, nice. Catches him with the close slash. That reaches so goddamn high. Jesus. Same with that one. Dude, it's not close bad. slash is hit so high. <laughs> Reverse JS, oh. able to find a way out. That's the importance of using uh, super jump, by the way. Because when you super jump, your character will face the direction of the opponent. Even if they cross under yep. you. Yeah, that is the, that is the good side of it. Because, of course, with one jump, you always stay the same way facing but it seems like yeah. scambolini gotta take that match off some good stagger stuff one one <laughs> on to game three realm star goes for the super jump into the fd got tapped a little bit but certainly no high reward for either of these players so far still in the neutral 
looking to find a way in, but Festival doing a great job at keeping Kai out. And that's a difficult task, by the way, because Kai is great normals, fantastic speed, and many options to approach. Oh, I use like a pseudo rush down in this uh, version of the game, you know? Rush oh. down, but with no offense. It's uh, quite the, uh, <laughs> it's quite the combination. Yeah. Although Kai oh. players are making the offense look pretty good. Sometimes regular old strike throws just good enough, and you you put that on a character with fantastic neutral and good damage. I mean, it, it pans out to a good character in Guilty Gear. Yep. <laughs> good niche, good damage, good pressure. Go crazy. Oh, a DP. Defend some good bar with that Fuji oh. Catch them in 2D, and that's quite the pick up there by Scambolini. Yeah, that RC no fast count. cancel into the empty low, that was really, really sick. And it's enough with the 2K, Scambolini takes the lead. Hopping into the match four. Could be the final round here considering Scambolini is on set point and they're immediately going for some offense. So that 2P can farm into this XP. Tries to go for some pressure after a throw. Gets him with the 2S counter hit and that's a lot of damage. The festival had to hold there, barely living. <laughs> Bait it, the shimmy. I didn't know we were playing Street Fighter, man. Was that look? Was that look on my screen? <laughs> What's up, yo? Nice little throw shimmy. <laughs> Thank you for man. blessing us with the Luke impression. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a great job there, but now these options. That's a backdash into the challenge. Tried to PRC throw, but was not going to work there. Caught. Resources off the table. Kai sitting here with uh, at least half a burst gauge for some kind of threat. Once again goes to the shimmy and the 2H full punish. And that might be all she wrote, but Barely no. 11. Festival Barely is 11. alive, but has to play perfect. Goes for the... That is so bold. Going for the shimmy again is just crazy. <laughs> but honestly, it's good. good. Tech, it's though. a 50-50 and they're engaged with it right now. Oh, that's the enough. chip out with the wild assault, just like that. Scambolini takes it 3-1. We're going to get the run back against Yoho. Grand finals. It is Yoho spill versus Scambolini. Just come from the loser side. Going yeah. to have to win two different sets to take it. And obviously, this being a run back is going to be very difficult. They're already going to start playing from layer two. They're well aware of how each other play and uh, may the best gamer win. I mean, that's what it's going to come down to here. Fantastic round start here for Scambolini, who's able to secure that early wall break. Jumps over, cop of the lows, sent to the corner. Yeah, when it seems to uh, the best gamer right now, if, it feels like Scambolini wants to set that pace, like almost immediately. Like they're already on it. Oh, big throw oh, there. <laughs> they're getting a lot of mileage out of with 5P throw. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Just back dash! <laughs> hey, it's not that easy, all right? It's unreactable. Back dash of 5P? What's happening, well, what's happening is you're waiting for the block stun of 5P to call out the tech throw immediately after, but there's no block stun. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. stun, and then you get caught off guard. It happens to everyone. How many frames do you have to tech again? Is it five? Uh, I think it's like five. Uh. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And just last gambling, one more tap away, closing out the first match. But you can't count out this Testament gamer. Tries to go for the run up throw, but called out Scambolini. We'll take game one. On to game two. We got Lily playing. The stakes couldn't be higher. Okay, maybe they can nope. be a little higher. You know, it's not Evo, but <laughs> we do have some fantastic guilty gear today, and it's all. Can't, uh, what word am I looking for? It all is coming down to this. I was looking for a big word and I just couldn't find it. But finds the gap of the DP. Scambolini sends the always spill to the corner. Boom, big damage. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. Solid chunk, but gonna get clipped by that 6H. Dealing some decent damage here and there with the Arbor Saints. And 6P lost an aerial, that's insane. Ooh, big super. Does that break the wall? Yes, it does, but not going to be enough to kill. And we're going back into one more setup. Goes for the 5P <laughs> jump. That's so clean. The layers on layers are there. Right? Hey, yo. Oh, my God. Yoho just going for some raw offense. Sticking in. Gets him with the Grave Reaper. Gets the Wild Assault. And this is some good... Hard knockdown action immediately goes oh in, my. but gonna get DP. That doesn't look. That looks safe. That's crazy. Yep. Uh, maybe some kind of mistake there, or maybe it just doesn't safe jump. And you know, a lot of the time <gasps> people just go for a jump knowledge in, check? And even though it's not safe, they'll hop it in. Yeah. No, it's checking guilty gear. Who would have thought? Crazy. Water salt sand oh. goes to the five D. 
fantastic bombo here as well and it's so nice having that kind of root oh! that was disgusting that was truly they disgusting he's find that final hit though overhead. doesn't combo it was a little too close plus frames back dashes to avoid it punishes with the far slash and yoho spill is definitely still in this set did that as well though faking the overhead arbor sign to do the low yeah, is that's just full gross. screen angie mix <laughs> that, that's yeah that's full screen yeah that is the best way to put it that is a full screen 50 50 that's messed up Ooh, the, the real 50 50 is when they can't they do the low and then cancel with prc and then do another low no 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 they that's cancel they the you. first one cancel the second one run up throw <laughs> like, oh. like, that's sky mix right there the full screen right at the round <laughs> but there but it yeah, is yo -ho. Yo -ho, still fantastic burst bait ties it up one to one oh, on to oh, game oh. three throws out the 2s baited scambolini here with a big conversion and yo -ho, spill has to give up that burst fantastic anti here and a big close slash pickup as well I have some solid damage across That's the board. That's some great damage from a projectile. Oh, tries to do it again, but this time not going to anti air. Fuchu are going to go right over. And Kai has so many ways to cheat the neutral in this matchup. I Oh, Fuji arc, projectile himself, the super projectile. There we go. Stuff. Someone found the backdash macro. It's happened. No way. <laughs> Granted, no there's way. most definitely ways you can call it out. Like, I can probably whiff the 5 pin or far slash or something, but that's not really going to yeah. be a high reward option. So when you think about the risk reward, just backdashing is going to be pretty much everything. That seems like a fairly decent option. It's very difficult oh. to come to that conclusion, though, in mid-game. Yeah. Oh, oh my Dude, god, another Scambolini good DP. is so good at these DPs. I mean, they're just so well-placed, and they're doing them on defense at uh, very good timings. I mean, times when the opponent really wants to Gatling. Damn, are you really complimenting him on this use of DP? I am, and I've, you know... I don't regret and it. And you're not going to compliment me on my Jagger steps? That's I, insane. Panda. <laughs> <laughs> but just like Yoho takes the lead 2 1 off of what seemed a bit of a rough situation. Now it's their game. They're taking that lead. <laughs> On to game four. Yoho has been throwing out normals, low committal options, and so far, nothing is coming to a hit, but there it is. Scambolini finds the knockdown, Fujiro arcs in, Wild Assault Stain as well, confirms off of the two P's. And Ooh, breaks the wall. that's a good bad damage. Yeah. Oh, wow, back throw. I think they were looking for a throw too. tech. That was absolutely looking for, for the throw tech, yeah. I think uh, Yoho went for the throw tech this time because they assumed that because they backdashed last time, Scambolini would go for an overextension option to chase backdash. And that right there, like, that's like thinking on the next layer. Like, realizing, yeah. okay, I came up with good counterplay. I know that the opponent's going to recognize that as good counterplay. And so I'm going to do a worse thing back to layer one that'll beat their counterplay to my counterplay. I mean, I just love fighting games. Oh, and the chip kill. Wasn't ready for the stain chip. Yeah, I love fighting games too. I got I to agree Maybe. with that statement. I can't let that fly by, you know what I mean? King player oh, does what, not six enjoy feet. fighting games. They enjoy winning. Okay. A lot of people play Maybe fighting games feet. and just kind of hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but not, <laughs> not us. Oh, my lord. The damage. Big. Oh, my god. But 60, Our knockdown 70? secured. Dash him with a 5k. BRC in 2k. Plus frames. Close slash. Left a gap. And we've seen a lot of super PRC from Yoho's But this time, Ooh. they're just going to let it rock. And it connects. Great read there. Ooh. Actually, probably a reaction on the food truck. This is going to be big damage. This right here is tournament point. If they're able to secure it. Oh! Dead behind him with the teleport. But the PRC to stay in. What a good play there from Scambolini. Delana Caught the 6 by the 6H. And confirmed. Yoho Spill takes this out with a 6H. And is your back to brawl 89 champion. Possibly the first testament to ever win a brawl.